What's up guys, how's it going? In this video we're gonna take a look at some of the player homes you can use in Nipton. I say that like you have to be picky, but you can use any fucking house in the town because everyone's dead. All right, so I guess we'll take a look at some of the more important ones. For this one we're gonna start with the Nipton General Store. If you ever wanted to have your own general store, this is it. You got all these containers, you have a little uh, home apartment upstairs, we got a desk, a bed. We also have our own bathroom, look at that. Oh my. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We've got a bunch of containers downstairs. We also have a roommate, so if you don't mind having one of those, if you don't mind having a crippled roommate, then by all means, you can live with boxcars. And for the houses, they're pretty much all the same. We're going to take a look at some of the more dangerous ones. Uh, this one is probably one of the better ones, even though it has a killer robot inside, because we have a workbench inside, as well as a bunch of containers. Uh, we also have a safe, a bed, free legion corpse that's some value nice bathroom here but yeah most of the houses are fully furnished and look pretty nice but we're just going to take a look at a couple of the more relevant ones mainly the ones that can kill you and this is the next one right across in the general store here this one has a few bark scorpions in a cage and a whole bunch of traps this is probably the most dangerous one we got a trip wire here basically every doorway has a trip wire and we got a few mines one there uh, got a bunch of containers in here as you can see. We got one in the bathroom. And there's also another one in the kitchen which we'll take a look at here. As, as well as two rig shotguns. And... Oh god, the scorpions are out. They can let themselves out so you gotta be careful of that. And we got one here. Let's see the barrel there. And there is the other trip wire which triggers the frag mine over here. But yeah, there we go. Once you clear this out, this can be a perfectly fine home. None of the enemies in any of the buildings ever respawn, so... The only enemies that respawn in Nipton are the three bark scorpions. Or three or four. I think it's three that live in the trailer park. Anyway, moving on, we're going to take a look at one of the largest places you can claim here is the Nipton Town Hall. I do not think there is a single bed in here, unfortunately, but we have all of this room... You even have this little basement area with a bunch of storage, a bunch of crates and shit. Look at this, this is great. And once you commit a little bit of animal abuse and kill all the mongrels, they will not respawn, so you won't have to worry about that. The only problem with this place is it might be a few too many loading screens for most people. As you can see, my loading screens are relatively quick, so it's not really that big an issue. Uh, especially since the probably the best place is on the top floor in the mayor's office. If you ever wanted to be mayor of a completely wiped out town, I guess now's your chance. Uh, which door is it? Not that one, this one. Here we go. Maybe the one that says Mayor. Big brain. Alright, we got our bunch of little things here. We got a container. A bunch of containers. We have, most importantly, I guess we have the, the pile of containers in the back room that we can use. But yeah, this is, uh, I guess one of the more extravagant places you could live in. It's considering you have the whole town to yourself. This place specifically might have a few too many loading screens for most people, but... But yeah, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, have a good one.